Well, hello again, fellow crafters. This is DM Blair Wolf, and tonight's video is going to be on a core box set that I have coming out. That's the Caverns of Underdark. Um, I'm making this video as an advertisement, sort of, for purchasing my uh, core box set. Um, the core box comes with 14 wall tiles, 21 floor tiles and a door and archway. Now I know that doesn't sound like a lot, but two things I hope to accomplish with this video. One, to show you that even just one core box without any of the upcoming expansions can be enough right out of the box to build an adventure to play for hours on. And two, to let everyone know that the actual sale for this set will go up on Etsy, my Etsy account, in the next couple weeks. The reason I'm making the video and posting it for sale now before it goes out into Etsy and my other sales sites is because anyone who purchases it now, before that, will get a free set of cavern accessories. And uh, that's, a pretty, that's a pretty good deal um, as far as I'm concerned. Um, so, I'm going to get right down to this, and I'm going to show you what my purpose of this video is. Now, <clears throat> as you can see here, I have a few miniatures that I sat up here. And I started this out like this, and there's some extra wall tiles left. Okay? Now, I'm going to take these miniatures, and I'm going to come over here to the other side. Now, if you think about an adventure starting from the front door, okay? And the miniature works his way in. He does his perception checks. And he does his uh, uh, checks for traps or secret doors or whatever it is he's doing. As he works his way into here, <coughs> there's other ways to go. Okay? Now, this set, there's enough tiles here. This set can be moved around as you or one person or the party begins to go and move. Now say the, the minute the party decides they want to go left, okay? Now, as the party works their way forward, they do their perception checks, uh, find whatever you may have laying around from your free set of cavern accessories, which we're not going to disclose at this time what they are. There's still a few things in the works, and uh, there will be a follow-up video and follow-up pictures and things posted to my uh, Facebook page <clears throat> at a later date. So as they work their way through, they get to here. They realize, the perception check, that the dungeon, not the dungeon, my mistake, the cavern, starts to go in an odd angle. Working its way this way, like this. Now, say, you see before you an archway. Okay, so now the miniature works his way through the archway, comes out the other side, because there's no door there. It's just an open archway. Works his way through, checks this cove, realizes that, ah, there's something there you can find, maybe with your accessory set, <coughs> we'll say. Then works his way over here, and as he works his way over here, he finds that 
there are two ways that this dungeon can go now, or this cavern can go now. Oops. Now there's a there's a fork in the road. He has to decide right or left. He decides to go right. So as he goes right, he comes to find that this area that he's working walking his way into at this point has become more narrow than the rest of the dungeon for some reason. Now, of course, you're going to, you know, you're going to have your flavor text and you're going to have all your, your fun, you know, goody parts of everything. And as you <clears throat> create your storyline as you go, your miniature works his way. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, finds more fun stuff there. Narrow archway. As he works his way up, he realizes that he's facing another archway. Hmm. wonder what that's about. Why is there another archway? Well, because there's another door. And in that door, as he crawls th crosses through that door, he comes to find, again, that there's two paths he can go on. So as we were working out these sets and the number of tiles and things that would be possible for everyone to be able to have a decent sized adventure, 21 just seemed like the magic number for some reason. I don't know why. Just sort of worked out as we played with it and moved things around and created our ideals for our adventures and stuff that people could take. So, as he walks up, he has to choose right or left. He chooses to go this way. As he chooses to go this way, as he comes closer into the distance, he sees that there is a door. And this really keeps to the classic dungeon crawl theme, you know? I mean, it just keeps moving along. So now, he gets up to the door, does whatever it takes to open it. Say it's a magic door with a spell, so he has to do an incantation or, or something to get the door to open. And as the door... Opens up <clears throat> behind him, or not behind him, in front of him. It seems like he turns around and everything's gone. It's just black. There's no light. There's no nothing. Ooh, wonder what that's about. Urgh, this just can't be good, you know, kind of thing. So you're, you're giving ominousness and uh, giving a mystery to the, to the area as well. So, when the adventurer comes out of that area and through the door, pathway is narrow, passage is very narrow as he comes down the passageway. So, wait here. Passageway is very narrow. He gets to here and he realizes he has to make a choice. 
right or left, again, chooses to go this way. Comes through this area. Oops. Goes through the narrow passageway. Works his way through this area here. Finds another doorway, but the door is, you know, I didn't realize that I was running out of room there, sorry. Realizes it's just an archway, you know, so he works his way around, gets to the archway. As he gets to the archway, he has another choice to make. Which way to go? And all along, you know, as you're doing this, you'll be moving your pieces out of the way and having your adventure. You know, so as you can see, even straight out of the box with one core box set, you can do a lot with this. And then with that mysterious box of cavern accessories that we're going to keep a secret. This is kind of low key for now. We're going to uh, unveil what that'll be, which be well worth it, I guarantee. So... With enough said with showing you how this can crawl, even with just one set out of the box, I'm going to start to uh, maybe show you some of the uh, the actual pieces here. Uh, some up close, some up close shots of this here. Let me move this around. Sorry about all the bumping and bumping and popping and stuff, but as you can see, it's a lot of really good detail, really nice detail with these. They're uh, Painted with a pewter gray and black base coat. And then three different shades of purple make the uh, make the stalagmites. There's the flat purple, then the opal purple, and then a dark purple wash. And then these pieces are then um, seal coated so they look kind of wet and shiny like uh, caverns should look. And then... There's some red crystals inside these ones here that look like this. And then you have your floor tiles, which are pewter gray and black, seal coated on the bottom. And then there's purple wash in the cracks to kind of make it look ominously like uh, under dark. And you have, uh, comes with your standard door. Or cavern doorway, which is highlighted in purple. Some tiny little pieces to fill in some of the little gaps or have little uh, pieces sticking up in the middle of the floor. <laughs> Things like that. So, um, I think that, uh, the set is going to make a great addition to a lot of people's collection because not many people uh, have a lot of terrain to play uh, under dark. Um, one of the reasons why we don't play it a lot is because we, we, you know, we dislike a lot of the paper mat, plastic paper mat ideas. And uh, WizKids came up with, uh, I think, some uh, 3D terrain to play on a mat. And uh, the mat, just it's the same every time you lay it down. Now, I'm not knocking WizKids. I mean, like, the D&D &D stuff that comes out, licensed by them, is, is good stuff. It is. But you have to build your ideals around what's static, what's stuck there, what you have to work with. With this, you, you, could, you could make this dungeon on the fly. I mean, you could have a few small concepts, sit down with your kids or your... Your wife or some friends, uh, eat some food, potato chips and whatnot, and sit down and have a good old time for an hour or two 
and just crawl this thing around the table and and unload an adventure you could make up as you go. I mean, I did. I I made up. I mean, I I wasn't all detailed like some people, but that's because this is more like just an ideal. Um, I didn't come into this with a uh, a campaign setting in my head to be able to unfold for y'all, but you you see how these uh, tiles and walls, just one set of 14 walls and 21 floors and a door and archway, even without the free cavern accessories that you will get if you order this set before it goes on to Etsy and my other pay sites, um, which... Again, all that information will be listed in the description down below. With just one set, you, you can you, you can have hours of fun. I mean, the buying three or four or five sets would just make things easier and less time consuming to move things around. But I encourage you to buy whatever you feel, whether it's one set or it's four sets or it's 20 sets or just one set. Um, the reason we created this in this way was so that if you only wanted to buy one set, you could still do a lot with it. And that's why the cavern accessories will be free up until they go on to the stuff goes on to the pay site. Because uh, I don't want to see people have to uh, pay any more than they have to, at least out of the gate. You know, I want to try and keep it affordable and at a price that everyone can uh, be happy with and still get a lot more than their money's worth for these sets. And shipping in the United States will only cost $6. Um, it's a lot more than that to ship anywhere, but I, I split the cost with you because um, I use a medium flat rate box to sell or to send everything. So the uh, shipping will be $6 if you live out of the U.S. or out of my area. Um, any of the, uh, local customers and things, uh, get in touch with me and, uh, we'll work out, um, you know, getting it to you or shipping it or whatever. So with that said, and this little example of how one set can really, uh, be useful and affordable and, uh, versatile, I'm going to end this video with, uh, if you like this idea, by all means, get in touch with me and purchase a, a set or two or however many you want. And uh, please, if you like this video, like, like button, subscribe, comment. Let me hear your comments. I mean, uh, I know this is from a distance and uh, that's why I tried to pick some of the pieces up and hold them up and show you before, you know, I ended the video. Um, if you have any questions about mechanics of the system or any any concerns or anything at all, I mean, the, the pieces are really durable. So, I mean, it's it's not like uh, you're buying junk. I mean, this stuff is good quality, and if you have any concerns or questions, feel free to reach me at the information that I'm going to list in the uh, description down below. Um, this is going to be for a short, short time. It's not going to be very long, this offer. So, if you... Uh, like what you see, please contact me. Uh, get with uh, me in one way or another. And uh, all you crafters out there, keep crafting, keep creating, build those worlds, uh, entertain your family and friends. Thank you very much.